Hello plant people, Nora the Lekker Queen here. Today's video titled Five Lies You've Been Told About Semi-Hydroponics is busting some myths about the world of semi-hydroponic gardening. This video is packed with insights and details that'll change the way you look at semi-hydroponics. These insights are based on my experience growing plants in Lekka and those of my friend Eve, the Lekka addict, who has a fabulous blog post on the subject. As we explore these common myths and uncover the truths about semi-hydroponics, remember, we're exploring a world where plants don't just survive, they thrive. Let's tackle our first myth. Many people think that growing plants in semi-hydroponics is like trying to solve a complex puzzle, but in reality, it's more like a customizable journey where you can choose your own path based on your resources and comfort level. The beauty of semi-hydroponics is that it is flexible. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast with a limited budget or a tech-savvy gardener who loves fancy gadgets, semi-hydroponics can be as straightforward or as sophisticated as you want it to be. At its core, semi-hydroponics is about maintaining a happy balance of water, oxygen and nutrients, all essential elements for plant growth. Think of it as a cooking adventure. You can cook a delicious meal with a few basic ingredients and tools. You can also start semi-hydroponic growing with just a container, some leka or other growth media like pond, water and basic nutrient solution. For those of you eager to channel your inner Einstein and dive deeper, the science of semi-hydroponics can be fascinating. Using tools like a pH meter and an EC meter, you can begin to uncover the true power of semi-hydroponics. You can fine tune the nutrient concentration and pH level of the water, ensuring your plants receive the perfect balance of what they need to thrive, just like a master chef adjusting spices and seasoning in a gourmet recipe to achieve culinary perfection. And the beauty of semi-hydroponics, it's forgiving and flexible. If your setup isn't perfect from the get-go, don't worry. Plants are adaptable and you will learn quickly what works best for you and your plants. It's a learning journey. Each plant, each setup offers new insights and a new experience. So, is semi-hydroponics complicated? Only if you want it to be. Learn more about growing plants using semi-hydroponic methods by subscribing to my channel. When we think of starting something new, especially something like semi-hydroponics, the dollar signs start flashing in our minds. You remember all those people on Reddit or Facebook who have said it's expensive. Let's unpack this myth and explore how semi-hydroponics can be both budget-friendly and creative. Yes, I admit it. Diving into semi-hydroponics can involve some initial investment. You'll need containers, leka, or some other growing substrate like pond, nutrients, and perhaps some pH and EC meters if you're going for precision. However, this is where the beauty of creativity and resourcefulness comes into play. Did you know that there are numerous DIY options that can significantly reduce costs? Think outside the box. You can repurpose household items such as containers, old jars, plastic bottles, even takeout containers can be transformed into your plant's new home, giving a second life to things that would otherwise end up in recycling or trash. Sustainable and economical. Let's talk about Lekka. These clay pebbles are not just for single use only like soil. They're reusable. After a plant outgrows its space or if you decide to change your setup, you can simply rinse and sterilize the lecker for use with another plant and another plant and another plant. That's what I call winning. And here's a thought. Getting creative with your semi-hydroponic setup can be a fun and rewarding project. It's then not just about growing plants. It's about growing your skills as a DIYer, problem solver and innovator. So is semi-hydroponics expensive? It doesn't have to be. With a bit of ingenuity and a DIY spirit, you can create an efficient, cost-effective gardening system that grows with you. The third myth is a good one. Plants can only grow in semi-hydro after they have shed their soil roots and developed water roots. Let's explore and clarify this misconception. Firstly, what exactly are water roots? You might have seen these fuzzy white roots in semi-hydroponic setups and assumed that they're some special kind of root exclusive to water, but labeling them as water roots is a bit of a misleading term. Roots, regardless of the medium, be it lecker, pond, water or moss, adapt to their environment. 
it's less about growing a completely new type of root and more about adaptation to a new setting. Consider this, when you propagate a plant in water and then transition it to LECA, you're changing its environment. It's not just about the roots being in water, it's about how they interact with their surroundings. Stay with me now. I know some of you might be thinking this is a bit too technical, trust me, it's not. Different plants show different levels of adaptability. For example, epipremnum plants may find it easier to move from water to leka than from soil to leka. Agalonemas might prefer starting in water while hoyas can be more flexible, often adapting directly to leka from various mediums. Understanding these plant characteristics is key to successful plant transitions. Remember, there is no one size fits all method here. Each plant and each environment is unique. What works effortlessly in one scenario might require more care in another. The key to growing plants successfully in semi-hydroponics is to observe, learn, and adapt, much like plants do. So keep an open mind and continue exploring. Now it's time to bust myth number four. You won't get pests if you grow plants in LECA. This is a widespread belief, but let's set the record straight. While semi-hydroponics can reduce certain pest problems, it is not an absolute safeguard. The truth is that because semi-hydroponics has reduced organic matter and drier surface conditions, it's less appealing to some pests like fungus gnats. These pesky fungus gnats thrive in moist soil environments, but they find LECA not too friendly. However, it's important to understand that not all pests are put off by these conditions. Thrips, mites and mealy bugs, for example, are more concerned with your plant's leaves than its roots. So keep an eye out for them. Do not throw away that magnifying glass just yet. However, the way we handle pests in LECA does offer some unique advantages. The absence of soil allows for more straightforward and less messy treatment methods. Let's talk about some effective ways to handle pests in a LECA environment. One unique method for LECA growers is what Eve calls the dunk. Imagine giving your plant a quick swim in a bug zapping solution. This method allows you to treat every part of the plant efficiently something soil gardeners can only dream of doing or have to resort to very messy methods to try to achieve. It's especially useful for tackling large infestations as a preventative measure. So while it's a myth that LECA completely prevents pests, the truth is it gives us a unique upper hand in managing them. With the right approach, semi-hydroponics can make pest control less of a hassle and more effective. Up next, we'll tackle the final myth and explore the exciting possibilities of growing big plants in semi-hydroponic setups. And if you're finding this video valuable, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And now we arrive at our final myth. You can't grow big plants in semi-hydro as a long-term method. This misconception comes from the idea that using inorganic growing substances like LECA is not natural compared to soil. This is simply not true, but let's explore why this isn't the whole truth and how you can grow large thriving plants in a semi-hydroponic system. First off, let's debunk the thinking that inorganic mediums like LECA are less capable than soil. Hydroponics, including semi-hydroponics, has been a mainstay in commercial agriculture for decades. It's a proven method for growing a variety of plants, plants to eat and including large houseplants like monsteras, and fiddle leaf figs. Growing in an inorganic medium like LECA does require learning some different aspects of plant care, nutrient management, understanding pH and its effects on nutrient availability, dealing with nutrient residue, flushing and troubleshooting. These are all crucial skills for a successful semi-hydroponic gardener. It's about learning to speak the language of your plants in a different medium. It's time to shift our perspective. Instead of focusing on semi-hydroponic failure stories, let's learn from successful semi-hydroponic growers and realize that it is possible to grow big, thriving indoor plants using semi-hydroponic methods. What if I told you you can grow huge plants in LECA? Like this impressive bird of paradise. Ever heard of a philodendron de McDowell? Yep, this is in LECA. 
or a philodendron florida ghost. Even a golden ivy pothos thriving in Lekka. And of course, the Monstera deliciosa, all living their best lives in Lekka. Every medium has its learning curve and challenges. Soil or potting mix is no exception, but we don't often hear people blaming soil for plant failures. They are, however, always quick to blame Lekka when things don't work out. The key is understanding the medium and how to adapt your care to it. In semi-hydroponics, as in any form of gardening, there are multiple factors that contribute to a plant's health. Nutrient composition, humidity, light intensity, pest management, pH levels, flushing frequency and temperature. These factors are just as relevant in soil, but the approach in semi-hydroponics is more controlled and precise. And about the unnatural argument. Nature is diverse and adaptable. Plants have an incredible capacity to thrive in various environments and semi-hydroponics is just another example of this adaptability. Rather than focusing on the medium as a natural, unnatural, let's focus on how we can best utilize it to provide optimal conditions for our plants. Growing big, healthy plants in semi-hydroponics is not just possible. It's a reality for many gardeners worldwide. It's about building a strong foundation, understanding the medium, providing the right nutrients and creating an environment where your plants can reach their full potential. With patience, knowledge, a bit of trial and error, the sky is truly the limit for semi-hydroponics. Semi-hydroponics opens up a world where you're in the driver's seat, fine-tuning conditions to create the perfect growing area for your plants. It's a blend of science and art where understanding meets creativity and the beauty of it. There's always something new to discover, a new challenge to overcome and a new accomplishment to celebrate. If you're looking to transform your home with a touch of nature using a very big impressive plant, watch my next video where I'll show you exactly how to do that. Learn how to switch a large mature plant from soil to lecker bringing instant green life to your living space. This method allows you to enjoy big, beautiful plants in your home instantly. So if you're looking to transform your home with a touch of nature quickly, don't miss out. I'll be there to guide you every step of the way. Catch you in the video.